All right, you guys, this lesson is multiply multiples of 10 by one-digit numbers. Okay, and our common core strand is given there for our teachers. How can we model and record multiplying multiples of 10 by one-digit whole numbers? So we're going to do this with base 10 blocks. And we'll start off with this example. The AVID program at Del Campo High School offers four classes. If 30 students are in each class, how many AVID students are there all together? All right, so, so here, let's first, we're going to be multiplying 4 times 30. So how many equal groups are there? Well, there's four classes, so there's four equal groups, and each group has 30 students in that. So, all right, uh, so we're going to use base 10 blocks to model 4 times 30. Okay, so we're going to model four groups of 30. All right, well, there's one group of 30, 10, 20, 30, with base 10 blocks right there. Okay, there's one group of 30. Here's two groups of 30, so that gives us um, uh, six tens. Here's three groups of 30, and that gives us nine tens. And finally, there's four groups of 30 right there, and that's going to give us 12 tens right there. So combine the tens, we're going to regroup those 12 tens as, as 100 right there and the two leftover tens right there, okay? So uh, so if I regrouped, this is going to give us the 100. There's 10 tens, which gives us this 100 block right here. And then the two left over, so the two tens left over right there. So that's going to equal uh, 4 times 30 is going to give us 120. Here's 100, 10, 20 right there, okay? So uh, 120 students are in the AVID program at Del Campo High School. The AVID program, you guys, is a nice program that, that uh, directs kids uh, on the college-bound track. I bet some of you guys will be taking the AVID program when you guys get into high school. Actually, middle school is where it starts, I think. All right, let's try this. Let's try 7 times 40. Okay, so we're going to draw a stick, which are straight lines, to represent each 10 block, okay? And then uh, then we'll draw a box for each 100 block. Okay, so let's model. Uh, we're going to model seven groups of 40 on these ones, okay? All right, so here's one group of 40. Remember, each stick represents a 10 block. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, there's one group. We're going to do seven of them. Okay, there's um, uh, two groups right there. There's three groups. There's four groups. Five, six, seven. Okay, and so there's our seven groups of 40 right there. So, so that's going to give us uh, 28 tens right there. So we're, we're going to regroup the 28 tens as 208 tens. Okay, so let's regroup them. So there's our 20 tens. Our 20 tens are going to represent the 200s right there. And here's the 8 tens right there. Okay, so... So that's going to give us 208 tens. All right, and remember, we're going to represent the, the 20 tens as 200. Here's 100, 200, and then here's the 8 tens right there. Okay, so that's going to give us uh, 7 times 40 is going to be 100, 208. So 280 uh, altogether right there. 208 tens is 280. All right. Okay, so uh, will uh, the product of 7 times 40 be the same as 4 times 70? And then explain. Okay, well, there's 7 times 40. We have um, 7 groups of uh, 4 tens right there. So there's 7. And here we have 4 groups of 7 tens right here. And what happens is, is they give us both 20 tens uh, and plus 8 more tens. Well, 20 tens, here's 20 tens over here and 8 tens left over, they give us the same product, which is 280. So, um, and also, you guys, uh, by the commutative property of multiplication, 7 times 4 is the same as 4 times 7, and 7 times 4 and 4 times 7 both equal 28, and they both have this extra 0 in here, so it's going to be 28 with a 0 right there. So, 7 times 4 right here is the same as 4 times 7, and this extra 0 is going to give us um, 28 with an extra 0. So, yes. Okay, so uh, use place value in regrouping to find 9 times 50. Okay, so here we're going to have 9 groups of 50 right there. Okay, so there's a model of it. There's 9 groups of 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we have 9 of them right there. And we're going to regroup. Uh, 9 times 5 is 45, so we're going to uh, record this over here. 50 times 9, we're going to multiply the, the 9 times 0, so the the 9 times 0 once is going to give us um, uh, 0, okay, and then uh, then we're going to go ahead, let me move that up, and then we're going to multiply the tens now, so 9 times the 5 tens right there is going to give us 45 tens right here, so we're going to regroup the 45 tens as 400s 
and 510. So you'll see uh, we're going to highlight some of these as 400s right there. So there's 40 tens right there. 40 tens equal 400. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then there's the leftover 5 tens right there. And that's these guys left over up there. Okay. So that's going to give us uh, 450. 9 times 50 is 450. And you can just multiply 9 times 5 is 45. And then tag a 0 on it. So it's 45 with a 0 or 450. All right, you guys. Take care. Hope you're having a great year.